Hi my friend, welcome to the Refocus channel. Here we talk about tech professions that can help you work remotely and earn good money. Today I'm going to tell you about one of the most in-demand professions, which is the profession of a data analyst. This video will help you understand whether this profession suits you or not. But first, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification button so you don't miss our new videos. Ready? Let's go! What does a data analyst do? An analyst collects, processes, and visualizes data for the company. Then this specialist prepares the information and shares it with businesses to help them make informed decisions. These decisions are supposed to either increase a company's profits or reduce its expenditures. What stages does the work of data analyst consist of? When an analyst receives a task from the company, they first decide what data they need to complete it. When they figure out what data they need and how they can get it, they collect it. Once they have the data, the analyst makes calculations, finds patterns, builds hypotheses, and draws conclusions. At the end, the analyst makes a report with visual graphs and diagrams. The visualization makes it easy for clients to understand the information on the report. How much do data analysts earn? According to Glassdoor, in-house data analysts in the Philippines earn at least $700 a month. The higher your qualification is, the bigger the salary you can get. Professional data analysts can make more than $1,100 and receive nice bonuses. The Philippines, junior. $700 a month, mid-level $900 plus a month, and senior $1,100 plus a month. You can also work for companies from all over the world. You can get new experience and a great job that brings you several times more money and bonuses in a new market. Australia, junior $3,400 a month, mid-level $4,600 plus a month, and senior $6,300 plus dollars a month. New Zealand, junior, $3,300 a month, mid-level $4,200 plus dollars a month, and senior, $5,100 a month. The USA, junior, $4,700 a month, mid-level $6,200 plus dollars a month, and senior, $8,400 plus dollars a month. Is it easy to find a job as a data analyst? It is. Even for those who have no experience. Why is that? Because there are not enough data analysts in the world and the demand is growing by about 40% a year. Data analytics is among the top three most in-demand professions globally. Just imagine, there are more than 7,000 companies currently looking for specialists on LinkedIn in the Philippines. 8,000 in Australia, and as many as 400,000 in the US. Believe me, you'll never end up unemployed. Do I need experience in tech to master the profession? Fortunately, to master this profession, you don't need experience in tech. You can learn how to use the tools for this profession from scratch. We have a course on data analytics, and here's the thing. All the teachers and mentors on our course started their jobs in data analytics with no experience. And now, their salaries are 10 times higher than their previous ones. As the head of the data analytics department in one of the largest retailer companies said, Analysts are made, not born. Do I need special education to work as a data analyst? Previously, companies hired specialists with basic technical or mathematical education. But since there are only a few specialists in data analytics, they stop paying attention to education. When a person tries to get a job, companies look at the skills they have mastered, for example, on an online course and also at the tasks they work on during training. Special education in the age of online courses is not necessary at all. What tools do I need to master to become a data analyst? Excel, SQL, Python, and Power BI. These are the tools you need to master to become a data analyst. Leave a comment and I'll tell you more about these tools in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the notification button so you don't miss anything. What soft skills are needed in data analytics? A data analyst has to express their thoughts so that everyone understands them. 
They need to explain why they made such conclusions while presenting a report. Develop your communication skills. Gavin Kennedy's book, Everything is Negotiable, could help. Think critically. This means they have to be able to put their subjective opinions aside and question the information they receive. It's essential to draw conclusions based on facts, not on intuition. Develop your critical thinking with the book Critical Thinking, Your Guide to Effective Argument, Successful Analysis, and Independent Study by Tom Chatfield. Look for out-of-the-box solutions. In analytics, the solution for a problem is not always obvious, so coming up with non-standard ways to achieve a goal is a great skill. The book Cracking Creativity by Michael Michalko will help you develop your creative thinking. How do data analysts work? As in-house specialists or freelancers? Analysts can work however they want to. Those who want to do freelance register on freelance platforms and look for orders on their own. Those who want to work for a company get a job in some company. But even as in-house specialists, data analysts usually work remotely. You can choose whatever you like, to be a freelancer or an in-house specialist and work remotely or in an office. By the way, tell us in the comments which work setup suits you best. I choose being a remote employee for a company. How long does it take to become a data analyst? It depends on how much time you are willing to spend on training. Let's take our course as an example. Almost all refocus students combine their course studies with work. That's why we have created a convenient schedule for them. At an average learning pace, they usually spend 7 to 10 hours a week on training. However, there are students who progress faster because they have more time to study. Our course lasts 8 months. In the first three months, our students master every aspect of using Excel and SQL. These are the basic skills you need to start working as a junior data analyst or as a freelancer. In the following months of studying, students learn the skills that make them more advanced specialists, which increase their value in the market. To sum up, your speed in learning data analytics depends on how much free time you have for studying. If you have about 7 to 10 hours a week, you can become a full-fledged specialist in 8 months. You can become an entry-level data analyst in just 3 months after mastering Excel and SQL. What are the pros and cons of the data analyst profession? Let's ask a practicing data analyst. What do you like most about your job? The main advantage is the high salary. I live comfortably, I can buy what I want, eat out save money, and help my loved ones. My salary increases every year, which is really nice. Another factor is the opportunity to work remotely. I used to work in the office, but during the pandemic, we switched to remote work. And when the pandemic was over, our managers realized that we didn't need to come to the office. So I feel more relaxed and comfortable at home. Thanks to working remotely, I now have a lot of free time and have become less tired because finally I'm getting enough sleep. Challenging tasks. I love my job and I like completing the tasks I get. I adore working with numbers. I like the feeling of being appreciated at work. And that's because I help the business grow. Confidence about my future. I am not worried about finding a job since there's a lot of vacancies. The demand is huge and everyone needs data analysts. Last time I found new job in just two days with a 40% higher salary than my previous job. I can easily change my professional area if I get tired of data analytics. Since I can program SQL and Python, I can go into another field where these skills are needed. For example, I can be a SQL developer and create databases or a data scientist. I can also work as a web developer or a full-stack Python developer. What are the disadvantages of your job? For me, there are none because I adore my job. I guess the only thing is that I have to perform repetitive tasks from time to time, which are boring. Thank you for your answers, our practicing data analyst. So now you've found out what a data analyst does, how much they earn, how much in demand this profession is, whether or not you need any background to become a data analyst, what tools you need to master, what soft skills you need to develop, how much time it takes to master the profession from scratch, what the advantages and disadvantages of the job are and how data analysts can work 
as in-house specialists or freelancers. That's all you need to understand if this profession is right for you. The easiest and most convenient way to become a data analyst is to take a course from Refocus. We will not just train you, but we will also help you get a job. Here's what you'll get. First, a job guarantee. Second, lessons from expert mentors. Third, practical tasks that will be included in your portfolio. Fourth, live classes with a mentor. Fifth, easy to understand high quality lessons. Sixth, lifetime course access. Seventh, assistance from our career center. Eighth, a convenient training schedule. And ninth, certificate upon course completion. Become a data analyst, earn from 60,000 pesos a month, and work remotely. Apply via the link in our bio or in the description below. See you next time, my friend!